Aaron, you look so much more like yourself tonight. Just how good did it feel to have the game that you had and just the way that the flow of the game went? Uh, I felt better. Uh, I felt better to play a better game, but I mean, it's still a lot of uh, it's still a lot to go. Has, uh, has this stretch where you've, you know, I don't know whether you know if you've considered a struggle on your end, but is it kind of opened your eyes in a way we're seeing, you know, your team step up in games where maybe ordinarily they're used to you scoring 25, 30 points in order to sustain success? Does this kind of show you what you guys can be if you're happening to be in one of those struggles? Uh, yeah, I mean, this is definitely good. Um, obviously, you know, we're at 500 right now and we could be, you know, a few games over. Um, but, I mean, it's probably the worst stretch I've had since I've been in the league as far as putting the ball in the basket. Um, but that's not the only thing that the game is about, so uh, it's been all right for me. But um, I guess, like you said, the team has definitely stepped up, and uh, we've, we've won some games, and we definitely uh, lost some that we feel like we should have won. Darren, you said it's the toughest stretch. How, how, how have you dealt with this, like, kind of internally? And, and then, you know, in terms of the support around you, like, we've heard your teammates, your coaches, just sort of speak up on your behalf um, over the last few days. What what has that meant to you, and what have you been hearing from them? Uh, it's definitely great, but for me, it's you just keep working. Um, people go through stretches like this in basketball and whatever sport they're playing in life. So um, after a game, I try to you know do what I do after the game uh, and and let it go. I mean, you don't have enough time in the NBA to dwell over what happened uh, in the previous game. So you just got to look forward to the next one. Jared, what do you what do you think the biggest differences are between this team and last year's team in terms of how you guys are operating offense and defense? Uh, I think right now we're defending uh, a little bit better than we did last year, um, but right now I think we just have I mean we have the firepower to to overcome a lot of you know if someone's not playing well. Um, obviously you know our buddy and and Dave Young coming off the bench guys that can really put the ball in the basket. Uh, Harrison's playing at a high level. Um, you know we're still trying to get Ty to shoot the ball more, uh, but we have a lot of different guys that can put the ball in the basket. So. Um, offensively, you know, when we're having those struggles, we just try to we try to get out of it together, try to move the ball, you know, cut, and just try to try to find you know the open guy because we have multiple guys who can put the ball in the basket. Aaron, this season, outside of tonight, you guys have really struggled to close out teams in the fourth quarter. That's usually like last year where you just owned the fourth and you were one of the leading scorers in the league in the fourth quarter. Do you see that as like the place where you need to kind of figure out what's happening and? and excel, and that might be what puts you guys over the top? Uh, I mean, I need to step up my whole overall game. Um, but yeah, I think, at least tonight, um, our third quarter wasn't good tonight, but our fourth quarter, I think we held them to like 12. So um, knowing what we can do, we have to be able to close out games defensively. I mean, for the most part, besides the Dallas game, every other game we've, we've had a lead um, in the fourth quarter. A few games we had double-digit leads and they kind of brought it down. Um, Portland, we ended up winning the game, but um, against Golden State, I believe we had a 10-point lead in the fourth and lost the game. So uh, just we have to be able to close the game out defensively, and that's that's what we need to worry about, I think. You know, I think I'll probably ask you just a few games ago, but I'm going to go back over it again. You, uh, the backup bigs, they've been playing really consistent. Yeah, uh, I'm talking about Alex and I'm talking about Tristan. We know Rashawn has been playing off the charts. He's had a tremendously uh, good start of the season. But can you talk about Tristan and Alex and what they mean to the uh, team, especially when Rashawn go out of the game like that? Yeah, I mean, bringing them in, obviously we already know the reputation of those two guys, two physical, two physical and defensive-minded bigs. Um, and they've come in and done that. Obviously Tristan's won a championship. Uh, he's, he's brought in a different type of leadership. Um, and then his energy is kind of very reminiscent of Shump when, when Shump was here. Um, and then Alex, just, I mean, a seven footer, he doesn't, he's not obviously not the biggest guy in the world, but he's one of the most physical bigs in the league as far as setting screens, guarding someone like Valachunas tonight. Uh, it's definitely a difficult task for anybody, but he did a hell of a job at it tonight. And um, we already knew what they would bring, especially, I mean, I had already, we had already played with Alex before as well, but I think him being here previously, he's, he's Definitely feels like he's a bit more comfortable um, in knowing his role, but they've they've been great for us. Rather, if sometimes one of them hasn't played and the other one hasn't, whatever it may be, but um, they they've both been ready. They've both been ready. They both know the game plan. I mean, they're both vets. They they know exactly what they need to come in and do, and they do that. They do it at a great at a, at a high level, and it's definitely helped us. How did you like the way you guys responded once uh, Rashawn went out of the game and kind of went up against a little bit of that adversity? 
Uh, I mean, I think we responded well. Um, you know, Tristan hadn't played uh, in the first half, and once Rich went out, you know, he kind of knew his number would be called at some point, and, and, and he was ready. And I think we all responded to that well. Alex came back in, and I think we just did a hell of a job. And obviously, Rich is one of the best. I mean, he's not the biggest, but he's one of the best run protectors in the league, one of the best guys, you know, getting rebounds. And I think they did a good job in trying to fill in that, that gap that he left when he was out. Um, Darren, there, the last few days there's been some um, some attention and focus on the ball, this new Wilson ball. Um, is it is that something you've noticed? Does it feel different? Does it does it? Uh, actually, it's crazy because I so I saw the PG clip and then um, talking to Don, he said something about it because he said that was one of his best games uh, of the year. But I never really thought about it. Um, I just feel like I'm missing shots that I was accustomed to making. I mean, it could be it, but I don't I don't. Does, does your handle feel like you're I've – I've just seen times where the, the ball's, you know, it doesn't seem like it's on a string sometimes. I just – it's made me wonder if, if maybe that, that ball has been a factor. I uh, definitely felt it whenever we got the balls, like in the summer. I mean, we were able to work out with the balls in the summer. Um, but, I mean, I had a whole summer with it, so I don't really – I don't really feel that. But – Aaron, um, just the pressure of, you know, trying to get to the playoffs and, and being the face of the franchise – do you feel like it's weighed on you a little bit here early in the season as you've struggled, or are you feeling like you're you're doing fine, like mentally, and you're ready to like move forward after this rust uh, stretch? I mean, I'm fine. Uh, once I go home, I don't, I don't really give a fuck. It's, it's over. You know what I'm saying? I watch film. I watch film. I when I'm in the gym, that's what I'm thinking about. But when I'm not in the gym, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking to my people, my friends, my people, my. My fiance, I mean, that's, that is what it is. I don't need to, you know what I'm saying? If, I, if I'm not playing well, I know I'm not playing well. I don't really give a fuck if somebody else tells me I'm not playing well. If, I'm, if, I, if I am playing well, I know I'm playing well. I've never been, like growing up, my parents didn't always tell me good job. Like, shit, it didn't matter to me. I never played for, you know what I'm saying, uh, for gratitude. I, it, it didn't matter to me. So if I'm not playing well, I know I'm not. If I'm playing well, I know I, I, know I am. It doesn't matter what anybody's telling me. Hey, De'Aaron, Davion maybe had his best game moving the ball tonight. Halliburton was really good in that aspect as well. Do you feel like you're growing more comfortable moving off ball alongside those guys? Yeah, I mean, we were all, you know, still um, still learning how to play together. Um, but I think it's definitely been – it's been good so far. I think um, especially when it kind of gets stagnant, you know, you have to go pick and roll. Uh, we have multiple different guys that can do it with, with Harrison as well. Um, but I think it's still, still learning. It's definitely still learning. Um, but for us more so, when we're on the court, we just know we have to rebound. That's that's where it is. We know we're gonna make guys miss um, with how active you know Ty is, and Davion and how how uh, how good of a on ball defender Davion is. We know we're gonna make people miss, so we have to be able to rebound when we're in there together. Just a couple more in here. Hey, uh, Tyrese, Tyrese had a good night tonight. Um, you mentioned wanting him to shoot more. Coaches talked about that being more aggressive. What have you said to him? And you know what? I told him to shoot the fucking ball. That's what I said. I think, I think it might have been last time we were in the either either that or in Dallas, and he passed up a shot, cutting down, ball goes out of bounds, and I'm kind of standing under the basket, and like I, I just put my hands on my knees, like, not because I'm tired, just do it. But, and I looked at him. And he looks at me, like pats his chest. I'm like, yeah, like, because I was probably about to curse him out at the time. But we we try to encourage him to shoot the ball. I mean, he's one of the best shooters on our team. He's going to be one of the best shooters in the league. Um, we just tell him that he has to have more attempts and we're trying to, we're trying to persuade him to get there when guys are going on the screen, especially on him that I mean, he's a 40% three point shooter. He should, he should be shooting that. You guys get your first Eastern conference test on Friday. Just what does it say about where you guys are at right now? Um, through all these Western conference opponents, most of which were in the playoffs last year, kind of where you guys are at right now. Um, I mean, there's no, you know, consolation prize for, for what we've done. Um, you know, we're sitting at 500. We feel like we could be a few games over that. Uh, but, I mean, it's it's been a decent start. Um, I mean, we're just looking forward to, to, to playing Charlotte. Nothing nothing that we've done is – at this point, it doesn't matter right now. We're just looking forward to that game. All right, we'll go to Zoom real quick. Uh, Matt. Hey, De'Aaron. If, uh, if you're comfortable talking about it, I know you, you battled with uh, COVID-19 at the end of, of last season, and we've seen that have long-term effects on players like Tatum, for example, having to use an inhaler. To remove all speculation, th does that have any effect on, on you at all with training camp to this point this season? Nah. 
Alright, Christo Saltus. Christos, can you hear me? Sleep. You about to say you fell asleep? <laughs> where is he? Where were you? Breathe. Yeah, I want to say. He just, he just breathed. At the what time is it there? Oh, there you go. What's, the time? What's, the, what's the time difference in Greece? It's what a.m.? Almost 8 a.m.? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Go ahead, so, like, what, what, what did you like most about this team, this season? And what is the ceiling of that team from your perspective? Uh, you said, what do I like most? Yes, and what is the ceiling of that team? Um, I think what I like most is, is what we've been able to do defensively. I think uh, we've had some games where we've had a ton of deflections and a ton of steals. Um, and then we've had some games out of doubt. I think the Golden State game, it was definitely down. And the Utah game here, it was, it was very, it was, it was way up. Um, but I think just the activity that we've been playing with defensively and um, we've had some, some really, really, really good quarters, like holding, holding teams under 20 points in a quarter. So I think just showing just we've showed the potential that we have as a defensive team. Um, and I think whenever we're, we're, we're locked in on both ends and we're making shots, I think we could be a, a really good team in this league. Thank you, Fox. Thank you, Thank you everyone. All right, guys. Our record uh, falls for me. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah.